all right guys today we are going to discuss about the clinical and applied anatomy of skin which comes under the general anatomy section and before moving on to the clinical and the applied part let me recap a bit about the skin in general you know that skin is the outer covering of the body and it is also the largest organ of the body and in terms of area it covers nearly 7600 square centimeter uh, area of the body of an average adult male it also accounts for 7% of the person's body weight and also along with the epidermal modifications it constitutes the integumentary system the skin consists of two layers you know it very well that the two layers are epidermis and dermis and both these layers are separated by a basement membrane and from your histology classes you know that skin is avascular and it is nourished by diffusion from capillaries of the dermis Moving on to the clinical part, the first question that arises is skin cancers are more common in fair than in dark skin races. Now why it is so? See, one of the type of cells that are present in epidermis of skin are melanocytes and these melanocytes produce a brown to black pigment which is known as melanin. And the amount of melanin produced is responsible for your skin color from black, brown to white or fair skin and all sort of things. It also protects the skin from the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. So the fair skin people have less amount of melanin in their skin and hence they are likely to suffer from skin cancer. And also note that regardless of the skin color, everyone is susceptible to develop skin cancer if his or her exposure to sunlight is sufficiently intense and continuous. Therefore, it is also advised to use sunscreens for those people who work in direct sunlight for long period of time and also the skin cancer develop in the region of face and neck because these are the regions that are not usually covered and hence they are exposed to the UV lights. Our next topic is corns, not the corns that you eat but this corn lies under the skin. So corns are palpable nodules with a central yellow color dead cornified skin and they are commonly found on soles of feet, tips of toes and dorsal surface of the interphalangeal joint and the formation of corn is common and well known to everyone. They are the areas of skin thickening and hyperkeratosis produced due to pressure and repeated minor traumas. As corns are pushed into the skin, they cause pain sometimes. Now corns are different from callosities as you can see the difference in the diagram. A callosity is a raised thickened patch of hyperclerotic skin and that is generally grayish brown in color and it occurs over an area of excessive wear and tear. Our next question is why skin grafting is necessary in third degree burns but not in second degree burns. So burns are basically classified as first degree, second degree and third degree based on their severities. And First degree burns involves the burning of epithelial layers of the skin. Second degree burn involves both epidermis and slightly a bit of dermis is harmed in case of second degree. And in case of third degree burns, it involves entire thickness of the skin that is the dermis and the epidermis and frequently some underlying muscles are also harmed in this case. So the epidermis and its derivatives like the hair follicles, wet gland and the sebaceous gland have the capability to regenerate it. And so in second degree burns what happens the spared dermis act as a barrier to bacteria and which is one of the skin's most important functions therefore skin grafting is usually unnecessary in this case and easily skin gets regenerated but in case of third degree burns what happens the entire dermis and its vasculature is destroyed hence regeneration is not at all possible further due to lack of any kind of protection uh, it leads to ulceration of the wound and body also attempts to heal itself our body naturally attempts to heal everything so it, it also attempts to heal this kind of burn and that lead to the formation of scar you have also seen in many cases that people have scar on their head sometimes on hand neck region and these are white color scars and this occurred because of third degree burns so skin grafting is suggested in case of third degree burns because it prevents the scar formation and also it helps in regeneration of the skin very fastly next topic is sebaceous cyst 
द स्किन इज केप्ट सॉफ्ट एंड ऑयली बाई सीबम एंड विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेल्यूलर डेबरीज एंड लिपिड्स एंड दिस सीबम इज सेक्रीटेड बाई द सिबैश ग्लैंड एंड द माउथ ऑफ दीज ग्लैंड ओपन इन टू द हेयर फॉलिकल्स एंड इफ बाई चांस एनी हाउ द माउथ ऑफ द सिबैश ग्लैंड इज ब्लॉक्ड द ग्लैंड बिकम्स डिस्टेंडेड बाई इट्स ओन सेक्रीशंस एंड अल्टीमेटली बिकम्स अ सिबैश सिस्ट सी द सिबैश सिस्ट आर मोस्टली फाउंड इन स्कैल एज द सिबैश ग्लैंड मैक्सिमम एट दिस साइट Generally these cysts are not at all harmful but many of them opt for surgical procedures and in surgery what happens they apply a local anesthesia over the cyst and then a fine precise incision is done over the cyst and the skin over the cyst is retracted and exposed later what happens the sebaceous cyst is removed along with its capsule and this is necessary the capsule should be intact with it or else it might lead to another cyst over the same area and you can see that inside the cyst it mainly contains lipid and cellular debris after removal of the cyst the wound over the area is precisely stitched and it cures within few days now see there are certain other topics also such as acne and all those things so these are not at all important for your exams so from exam point of view those things which are important i have covered in this topic and there are certain things such as the langer lines and the rule of nines and all those things i will cover those things in some next video and if you like my work do leave a comment in the comment section